The best of ACS. Hey everybody, it's back to light around the morning zoo. Ass crack, back Jack in the morning. I'm ass crack over here, back Jack. Hey, good body, everybody. Loose grin of the air. We got Marty St. Clair in the air. He's coming in traffic, traffic, and weather, traffic, traffic, weather, 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 weather and traffic, and Mackers and Lane. Marty. Hey, what's happening on crack and back, Zach? And we got a mattress and lanes on the Ronald Reagan freeway. We got a fox bringing lanes on the Santa Monica freeway. Futon in lanes on the Harbor freeway. And a Murphy bed in lanes on the Pasadena freeway. Back, uh, Zach. Sorry, you know, this track. one brought to you by Ben Bridge. Your personal jeweler. <laughs> back to you. Hey, I think it'd be wonderful to send one of our interns down there to collect all the furniture items, put together a living room set, and give it a color 100. Hey, sludge jeweler. All right, so sludge coming down. It's going to be down. The bubble of wild wings out there in San Dimas are gonna kick sludge in the nuts, get yourself a party pack. Sludge, we listen. You're gonna have to divert course. We need to pick up the box ring, the max stretcher over there in lanes over there. We got stacks, our gossip girl over there. How you doing, stacks? What's going on in the world? Over there? Tom Cruise was spotted shopping at the farmer's market with his daughter. He loves those farm fresh plums. Hey, we need a music bed on this thing. I yeah. may be breaking down the fourth wall, but here it comes. There I we like go. that. I like the feel yeah. of that one, especially as we get ready for the horrible scoops this morning. I want to tell you, if you're bored today, I think you're a Scorpio. Uh, oh, okay. Let me jump in here because we got weather, traffic, traffic, weather, top of the hour, quarter hour, eighth hour, sixteenth hour, third, second hour, sixth, fourth hour. Irwindale, check it in. 62 degrees. Pomona, 62. Cerrito, 62. Encino, 62. Santa Monica, 62. Hollywood, 62. San Bernardino, 60 degrees. City, city, check it in. 62 degrees. Pat City, 62. Glendale, 62. Alhambra, 62. Torrance, 62. Norwalk, 62. Pondale, 62. Uh, Manhattan Beach, 62. Huntington Beach, 62. Hermosa, 62 degrees. Zuma, 62 degrees. Seal Beach, 60 degrees. Long Beach, 60 degrees. Everything with the beach in, 62 degrees. When are you checking in? Wait a minute. This just in. Azusa coming in, 62 degrees. And we got traffic, weather, 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 traffic, traffic, weather, 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 weather lanes. And all coming up at the top of the hour, court hour. It's 822. At 22 after the hour, that's uh, 38, 30, 30 away from the top of the hour. <laughs> we check in. So we check in with weather, traffic, news, news, and time. We check in with the time. We go to the time, top of the hour, bottom hour, quarter hour, eighth hour, 16th hour, 32nd hour, 64th hour, 128th hour. Yeah, what's going on there, Backsack? Count is important if you wake up with ass crack and Backsack. Good love of yada, everybody. You need that time because you don't want to get fired or your butt burned at work by that big, bad boss of your. <laughs> Hey, what's going on? We said sludge. You down at the Hooters in San Dimas or where's that? It's sludge. Kick sludge in the nuts. Get yourself a ass crack and back sack. Koozie. Beer koozie in the morning. Come on down. Hey, what do we got, Stax? Jennifer Lawrence has decided she wants to go back to acting. That's a piece of ass. Oh, I like the real, I like the drill that piece of ass. Oh, oh, I like to pull bad. those pants. I wouldn't even pull her panties down. I'd pull them to one side. Okay, I'd slap oh, my big baby hog in her <laughs> Ass crack, I gotta tell you, that yeah. made me so hot, I might have to excuse myself from the zoodio. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Marty St. Clair there. What's going on out there? Traffic, time to check in. We check in with weather, traffic, traffic, weather on the quarter half, 8th and 16th, 32nd of the hour. What's going on? It's uh, it's a slow and go on the 5 freeway. It's slow and go on the 105. Slow and go on the 405. Slow and go on the 605. And slow and go on the 805. This traffic report brought to you by Cars for Kids. 1877 Cars for Kids. Today, it's your car today. Back to you in the studio. Hey, look out for brake lights out there because it is slow and go. Yeah, and uh, one thing I like about slow and go because we do kind of an inspirational show. We kind of make you feel good in the morning. We have the voice of reason stacks here oh. because somebody has to break through with that voice of reason. If it's slow and go for you right now, the good news is it might be slow, but you're going to go eventually. And those wow. speeds will pick up, and that's hot. Well, that's why we need it on this program, boy. I'll tell you what, ass crack or Thank, Zach, Zach. I can't remember which one you are right now. Thank you for saying that. Yeah, but because... we need that kind of commentary, that insight. Stacks, what's going on in Hollywood? Oh, Leo DiCaprio spotted with three women on his phone. Capri combined age 57. Watch out oh, taking that wow. Leonardo DiCaprio. I wouldn't pull those panties down. I'd put them on one side. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I gotta tell you, man, I've never revealed this on the air, but I'll never let go, Jack. I'll never let go. <laughs> Am I allowed to say that? I just want to be, I want to be kind of a shack jack in the hey, studio. It's 831. That's 31 after the top of the hour. It's 29. 
away from the top of the hour. We give the traffic and the time out. We give the time out 122 times in the quarter hour, the half hour, the 16th hour. Hey, let's check the time. Let's check the weather. El Segundo coming in 62 degrees. Montebello, 62. Culver City, 62. San Dimas, 62. Diamond Bar. Yeah, that's crack. Back sack. 62 at North Hollywood. Just get that in the IF booth. All right. They're coming in. It's hot break and weather news. Let's hop onto the phone lines. Remember, we got a 50,000 watt flame flower over here. Hey, Paul, what's talking to you? What's going on? You're on the ass crack back sack in the morning. Say hi to staff. Oh. <laughs> I am. Uh, just getting up. What's the time and temperature and, here in Minneapolis? Uh, Minneapolis coming in. Coming in 49 in Minneapolis. St. Paul area, 49 degrees also. In Minnesota, Minneapolis, old state coming in 49 degrees. And the time is 827. That's 27 after the hour. That's 33 away from the top. Well, the I'm late for work. Well, you don't want to be late for work. You'll get your buns burned. I don't know if you've been terminated before, but there's a clipboard involved. <laughs> <laughs> hey, let me tell you something, Caller Paul. I know you're out in the Minneapolis area. And you're nowhere near Buffalo Wild Wings and San Dimas, but Sludge is there. And if you can make it there in the next 40 minutes, kick him in the nuts, give him the phrase that pays, you're going to walk out of there with a koozie. Now, I don't know how you're going to get there, but if you can get there in the next 40, you say hi to Sludge. He's right there in sad dub ass this morning. And uh, I'm sorry, I did a sack. I did a little bit, a little bit. I'll be ass cracking. Back sack show. The phrase of the pays is I listen to ass crack and back sack in the morning. And today's cash call jackpot is $10,170. You tell us that, and guess what? Wabba, blabba. You're going to get a check. A bad check, but a check nonetheless. <laughs> For $10,170. Uh, the weather in the state of Minnesota. Minnesota, there we got St. Paul coming in 49, Duluth 49, St. Cloud 79, Bloomington 49, Egan 70, 49, Burnsville 49, Maple 49, Blaine 49, Lakeville and Moorhead, both coming in 49. That's what's going on in Minnesota. 49 degrees in Minnetonka, Minnesota. My friend Al Franken just called up and he's uh, very accepting of me since my revelation earlier this segment. On Mark. the heels of Leo DiCaprio. Mark, yeah. Marty, what's going on on the freeways out there? Hey, guys, we got uh, bumper to bumper traffic on the 10, also the 110, also the 210, and also the 710. This traffic report brought to you by farmers. We are farmers. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Back to you in the studio. This track or back track, what's that? Ass track, this just in. There's a 1 in 10 chance that you'll have bumper to bumper traffic on the way to work today. Yeah, yeah well, I check my horoscope. Hey, speaking of horoscopes, any celebrity birthdays out there, Stack? Ashley Olsen. Happy birthday, Mary Kate. Ashley, we love you, Ash, Ash, and Mary Kay. <laughs> Isn't it both Olsen? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's right, mean, so we love you, Ashley, Ashley, and Mary Kay. <laughs> we don't like you. <laughs> <laughs> I can't imagine. Show up to that Olsen house with just one birthday gift because ass crack, you nailed it like yeah, a hammer, right, man. Right. If Stacks, you watch. You couldn't think of a name of a celebrity that didn't have a twin? <laughs> oh, you. <laughs> I feel like there are more celebrities that don't have twins. I love doing this show because it's the dumbest thing I've ever done in my life. Yeah. Now, uh, <laughs> let me just check it. First off, it's uh, 8. 41. That's 41 after the hour. It's 19 away from the top of the hour. And that's 79 before the next hour. And you want to keep... Oh, we've gone and we've added the 60 yeah, and then the 70. Yeah, 79 right. before the 10 o'clock hour. If it takes you 80 minutes to get to work, you'll be late and your buttons might be burned. <laughs> I got to tell you, Inglewood checking in 62. El Segundo 62. Arcadia 62. City of Industry 62. Monterey Park 62. Palos Verde 62. Uh, Altadena 62. Susan Baldwin Park 62 degrees. We got weather, traffic, 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 weather and traffic at top of the hour, quarter hour, half hour, bottom of the hour, eighth hour, sixteenth hour, thirty second hour, sixty fourth hour, and sixty two degrees in Lakewood right now. Snacks, any celebrities not having birthdays? <laughs> oh, that would be Michael B. Jordan. He spotted post workout sweaty and hot creed indeed. <laughs> <laughs> and definitely not his birthday. Uh, no. Not his birthday. What do you get him if it's not his birthday? <laughs> on, everybody. Back sack or ass crack, I love you, man. I love you, man. I got to tell you, for the 14 years we've been doing this show, man, I get up in the morning. Sometimes I remember when my 
grandmother passed away, and oh, I was no, 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 we got I was really sad. But you made me laugh that day, and I'll never forget it. But well, I got to tell you, Backzack, I know corporate put us together and pretended like we had uh, chemistry, even though we were from competing radio morning stations when we officially met. We didn't speak off the air for the first seven years we worked together, but I feel a certain kinship has now come between us. I do feel that after the hatred, the red hot, white hot hatred burned away, I saw in you a man that I had very little in common with and really didn't want to be next to in the morning. But I decided I'd do it anyway. Because I needed the paycheck. I remember at the beginning thinking that you were racist and homophobic, and now I just think you're racist. So I think we've made progress in that department. I think that's awesome, man. And I think your tolerance and your diverse view of the world reflected by the staff around us on the ass cracking back track show the boom boom is all I need to say in a guy to say he's A plus numero uno hot I understand how you and your representation were upset about my. My favorite nation's decree uh, because of your experience in the radio and me really just not being being fresh to the game and the fact that I we get paid the same even though you do all the heavy lifting on the shows. I understand it's a burn your saddle, but I appreciate the fact that you've been able to get past that. It's more than a burn my saddle, buddy. It is a full-blown grievance of the Human Relations, uh, Human Resources Department. I do have to say that with all the charity work that I did when I worked on the Adult Contemporary Station with my year trips to Guatemala to feed the children who may not have eaten in 17, 18 days. I developed a, an appreciation for the human spirit reflected in you and by you every morning, especially when the sun comes up on the ass crack and back sack show of the board. And I understand my refusal to go with you on those pilgrimages because it was playoff season in, in the NHL. May have rubbed you the wrong way in terms of the way you look at me and I've Made it with us having consensual sex with the same woman for, what was it, 19 months? I understand why that caused a friction between the two of us. Yeah, she was hot. Friction would be understanding it. I hated you like poison, man. I wanted to wring your neck every morning on the ass crack and back sack shows. But after coming to grips with your sexuality and understanding that you are much more fluid than originally advertised, I think we put that in our rear view mirror. Consequently, uh, wrestling with oxycontin addiction and the abuse of your stepson. Once you put that in your rearview mirror, I feel like we're freed up to move forward creatively. And I saw, I saw ass crack that you were a genuine guy. And I saw that when you said something, you meant it. But then, darn it, I'm sitting here doing the show, and you're expressing that you're not homophobic. And you use the term rear view three times. That hurts. And you have popped the top on another ass crack and back sack. <laughs> HR Grable. Let me just jump in. It's 8.51. It's 51 at the top of the hour. It's 9 away from the top. And right. then it's uh, well, 69. Oh, there I go again. Oh, see that? That's yeah. personal. <laughs> away that's from the, the next kind, hour. That's the kind of stuff I don't like, man. Right. That's the kind of stuff I don't like. But I would argue that you're overcompensating because you're own struggle with your own sexuality, the feelings you had toward the priest who molested you all through your Catholic school upbringing. I would argue that you're not a psychiatrist or a Greek counselor, and I would argue that I have more issues than an episode of CNN's Crossfire. But let me tell you something, buddy. I don't come to work to be diagnosed, I come to make happiness and inspire listeners and give that important information like time, temp, traffic, and weather together on the fours. Right well, here. I don't want to be telling tales out of school, <laughs> but the fact that you bring your pet in on a daily basis is emotional support dog, yet you ride a scooter to work and make the pet run alongside of you on a 20-foot leash suggests to me a lack of empathy for our four-legged friends. Ass crack, I want to tell Tell you something that comes straight from my ass crack. This is how much I made mean this. Thank you. I want to tell you something that you would call it to question my scooter usage. Hold on, Lancaster's checking in at 62, Calabasas 62, Whittier 62, Lancaster. I'll say that 62, Carson, Inglewood, El Segundo 62. Yeah, I'm sorry. We got news, weather, traffic, news, and weather, top quarter, 8, 16, 30 seconds of the hour. Yeah. As for Corky, my emotional support animal, if you have some sort of issue with that, Yorkie, Corky the Yorkie, that's why I got that name. I love him, everybody. He loves you, too. I have a certificate. I have a certificate. 
signed by the county health department that I need that corgi. And uh, you know what you're doing? Your your skate on ice is really thin, muchacho. Okay, uh, let's forget about ice and start talking about asphalt and whose ass is at fault here. Because what's going on with that corgi? Is that corgi strong, working hard to run 37 miles an hour behind your Vespa, my friend? And what I'm coming at is not from a position of emotional support and whether that's relevant. I'm talking about the means of transportation. Hey, hey if you're driving a Denali and Corky was riding shotgun, then you wouldn't hear a word from Ass Crack. Ass Crack, I want to tell you something, man. You're coming in pretty hot. Over here in my cans, you're coming in pretty hot. You couldn't help yourself. I said you're skating on thin ice, and you had to, again, mention ice rooted in your distrust of immigrants from other nations. <laughs> That you have been, you have been banging that drum all day. I want to bang up a drum all day. Little John Rudgren in 22 minutes right here with Ass Crack and Back Sack in the morning. But you can't hide it. And I know where it's hidden. And I've got the map to get to all the secrets. So let's not drill down on my xenophobic. Drill down? Let's not drill down on my xenophobic tendencies. Yes, I want a wall built. Of course I want a wall built. And of course I look down at brown people as lesser than me. But that has nothing to do with your character. And And it has nothing to do with the way you inspire me. (laughs) The way you inspire me when I come in here. I have to tell you something. I'm really overweight. I'm morbidly obese, according to my doctor. So I wake up many mornings not wanting to breathe another one. I'm hoping when I put the head on the pillow that sometimes morning time doesn't come around for old backside. But I wake up and I know there's a man. Only three feet away from me is going to make me laugh and smile. All right, I got to jump in with the weather here. <laughs> Monterey Park coming You've been in overlooking it. It's City, City Energy 60, Arcadia 62, Irwindale 62, Pomona 62. Uh, as far as your morbid obesity, I actually did a little fact checking uh, the other night on the Google. Fat, it turns out. Fat checking? Fat checking, uh, as opposed to shaming. Turns out you weigh more than an adult male panda bear. I don't know if that's a source of comfort for you. I hope it's a source of shame. One of the things that I've always done in my career is I've left deep footprints for the listeners. So they never forget that Back Sack was there. That was told to me by a radio consultant. He said, Back Sack, leave deep footprints. And I am attacked every day on issues like my weight, which I have no control. I have a thyroid condition. <laughs> And I'm the size of a condominium in West L.A., man. Stacks. And, and I don't, I, while you might want to fire from your musket in my oh. direction, I stand here like that wall you want built in Mexico with strength to show all those who might be facing a challenge this morning that they can get through it if they spend all morning, three hours a morning, that's all we ask. I'd like you to build a wall back. around your refrigerator. Uh, Stacks, what's yeah. going on in the Hollywood? Ooh, Gwyneth Paltrow is dating again. Scene with Zach Efron. All right, we'll be back in OA, uh, St. Clair in the air. Yeah, and here, Ash, back and back, Zach, we got a car fire at the uh, 50 and 215 interchange. That's a car at the 50 and 215 interchange. <laughs> this update brought to you by Sit and Sleep. Sit and Sleep, admit it. If you didn't advertise bar price, so your batteries is free. All right, remember, sludge down to Buffalo Wild Wings and San Dimas. Go down there, kick them in the nuts, give them the phrase that pays, get away the koozie. Uh, I'll tell you what, uh, back, Zach. Yeah, Bob. Uh, why don't we just uh, march it down the hall and uh, walk into uh, Jack Silver's office and see if we can just uh, hash this thing out there in a commercial break. Maybe we could do it. I'd like to do it because I want to do a show that's entertaining and free of any personal baggage. Well, that's going to be difficult because you come in here like a Sherpa, dragging baggage every single morning. Ass crack. Yes, back, Zach. Tell it to buy Marconi Award, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> you shaping wax. <laughs> you sculpting wax in the in the shape of famous inventor Marconi is not a Marconi award. That is a legitimate award, and I'm not going to sit here and be disrespected. Uh, and you have the audacity to talk about my award I received back in 1991 in front of the entire industry. I, I remember consulting Randy Lane said, buddy, you're hot in the morning with the AC tunes. I have... A A M. I know you like to belittle my. I know you like to belittle belittle my Emmy. I have a daytime local Emmy, which I say is much better than Marconi Award. Plus, 
I was voted top ten DJ in spin and hits and radio and dial magazine uh, nine years running. I'm strong. I'm a strong man. I'm not easily offended. The reason I come here is to inspire people having a tough time getting out of bed in the morning. And if you think I am intimidated by your midday television Miami Emmy, I worked in South Florida. I worked at number one Y100, Fort Lauderdale, Miami, in the Palm Blizzard. And I'm going to tell you something. I have any personal friends with Shotgun Tom Kelly. And that man has six Daytime Emmy Awards from local programming in San Diego. All kids shows. Because that man has a heart and a big hat. But he wants to raise those kids because the parents, sometimes sadly, aren't around to do it themselves. I'm going to say something I may regret in future days. Uh, that's not uh, Backsack's real voice. His voice is quite different off the air. When we speak off the air, we try to keep it limited. But when we do speak off the air, he sounds sort of like Seth Green in his speaking voice. He sounds nothing, nothing like what he sounds like on the air. This is all some fictitious character that he has put before the microphone. Oh, don't. He talks about being genuine. He talks about being a man of the people. He talks about connecting with the listeners. All with this phony, trumped-up voice. Ass crack, there it is again. You gotta get the hatred out and say Trump. Let me say <laughs> something, ass crack. Do this- it in your real voice, coward. Are you calling my act counterfeit? Are you calling this a counterfeit act? Buddy, I just told the world that I'm a raging homosexual on your program. <laughs> and you think I would do that for reasons of ratings or something like that? This is my real voice. All right, uh, this is my real voice. All right, so- wait, listen, we're out of Boomer and the Nudes are coming by for some hot cross talk. So I love we gotta, Boomer. We, we got to bring that in and say we'll be back right after this. Thank you, sir. <laughs>